there, everybody. Welcome back to Legends Lore. Today, we're diving into the Star Wars book canon timeline. I will be giving you everything you need to read from the start of BBY all the way to the end of ABY. This is the chronological order, not necessarily the recommended reading order, but a lot of you like to get into the chronology of Star Wars canon. This is how you would read it. And I've also added the films and TV shows here for reference around which time periods you can read. Before we get into that, though, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for continued content. Also, comment below and let me know what you think of this video, as well as if you have any questions. I will respond to all of your questions. I definitely get back to my audience, so make sure you are commenting below. So without further ado, let's get right into this canon timeline, and we'll bring the graphic in here. Okay, so here we are looking at the beginning of the Star Wars canon novel timeline, and it begins currently and maybe confusingly for some of you who have not looked at this before it is beginning with the high republic phase two so the high republic phase two takes place in 382 bby it is currently the earliest point of any story that is being told on the star wars timeline in general in canon so it is the earliest stories we have phase two goes back in time 150 years from phase one we begin in phase two with the first adult novel it was the third release out of all the books that came out in phase two the high republic convergence by zareda cordova is the first thing you would read on the timeline next you would move on to quest for the hidden city by george mann this is a junior novel and the first junior novel in the high republic phase two after that you follow it up with Path of Deceit by Tessa Grattan and Justina Ireland. Path of Deceit is the High Republic Phase 2's first young adult novel. Then you move on to Phase 2's only audio drama, The Battle of Jeddah. It does serve as a wrap-up point for Convergence, Quest for the Hidden City, and Path of Deceit, so I do highly recommend reading those three before you read or listen to The Battle of Jeddah. Next, we move on to three books that have not released as of the recording of this video. I've put them here on the timeline in release or Order. I would assume that is how the stories will be unfolding. And if you look at something like Wikipedia, that is how they are listed there right now. We would start with The High Republic Phase 2's second adult novel, Cataclysm by Lydia Kang. This will continue the events of Convergence. Then the characters from the junior novels will be furthered in Quest for Planet X by Tessa Gratton. And then Kevin Scott makes his Phase 2 novel debut with Path of Vengeance, the follow-up to Path of Deceit. Cataclysm and Quest for Planet X are coming out in April, and Path of Vengeance is coming out at the beginning of May. Next, we move on to the High Republic Phase 1. What's tricky about the beginning of the High Republic Phase 1 is that as we are looking at with this graphic in timeline order, the events of the High Republic Into the Dark by Claudia Gray, the first young adult book in the High Republic Phase 1. The events at the very beginning of that book do take place before Light of the Jedi. So as we look at the timeline, I did put Into the Dark ahead of Light of the Jedi. You definitely want to read Light of the Jedi first. Light of the Jedi is the central novel in the first part of Phase 1 of the High Republic. Then you move on to the first junior novel in the High Republic Phase 1, A Test of Courage by Justina Ireland. Then the events of the High Republic Phase 1 jump one year to two 231 BBY from 232, and then you get to The Rising Storm by Kevin Scott, the next adult novel in the High Republic Phase 1. This is followed up by Race to Crash Point Tower, also taking place in 231 BBY. This is a junior novel by Daniel Jose Older that takes place concurrently with the second act of The Rising Storm, the events at the showdown on Valo during the fair. The next book would be Out of the Shadows by Justina Ireland. It is a young adult novel, and it takes place in 231 BBY as well. And then the wave two of the High Republic phase one is wrapped up with Tempest Runner by Kevin Scott. It is the only audio drama in the High Republic phase one. Next, you move on to Mission to Disaster. Mission to Disaster takes place in 230 BBY and starts the High Republic Phase 1 Wave 3. Next in the timeline, you would move on to Midnight Horizon by Daniel Jose Older. This is a young adult novel taking place in 230 BBY that takes place right before the next book in the series, The Fallen Star by Claudia Gray, the final adult novel in the High Republic Phase 1. The Fallen Star did release first out of The Fallen Star, Midnight Horizon, and Mission to Disaster. Disaster. It does take place last on the timeline, but again, I would recommend reading it first if you are looking for a recommended reading order. So that concludes the High Republic part of the timeline, and then we jump all the way to around maybe 80 BBY. 
Some timelines would have you put Dooku Jedi Lost, the audio drama by Kevin Scott, right before Attack of the Clones because the story technically takes place in flashbacks as Asajj Ventress, who has recently been apprenticed by Dooku and become one of his assassins, is digging through the journals of Count Dooku learning about his past. However, since most of the story does take place before The Phantom Menace, I decided to release it here. Padawan by Kirsten White. It is a young adult novel about Obi-Wan Kenobi. It takes place in 41 BBY. After that, you would read Master and Apprentice, an adult novel by Claudia Gray, taking place in 40 BBY, telling a story about Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn, and Qui-Gon's beginning disillusionment with the Jedi Order, his obsession with prophecy, and his thoughts on maybe taking a position on the Jedi Council. If you're looking at the timeline correct order, you would first read Queen Queen's Peril taking place in 32 BBY. This is technically the second book in the Queen's trilogy, but if you wanted to read in the correct timeline order, you would read it here. After that, I put on the graphic Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. As of now, we do not have a canon novelization of it, so this is just to mark where it would take place on the timeline. Next, you would read Queen's Shadow, the first book technically in the Queen's trilogy, but the second on the timeline. It takes place in 28 BBY. After that, you followed up with Choose Your Destiny, an Obi-Wan and Anakin adventure. This takes place in 23 BBY, the year before Attack of the Clones. Like Phantom Menace, we don't have a novelization for Attack of the clones, so this is where the story takes place on the timeline. With the events of Attack of the Clones and the beginning of the Clone Wars begins our novels that take place during the Clone Wars era. The first of these would be Queen's Hope, which takes place in 22 BBY and is the final book in the Queen's Trilogy by E.K. Johnston. Parts of Queen's Hope take place before our next entry, Brotherhood by Mike Chen, but there are direct chapters that do intersect and are told from the points of view of Anakin and Brotherhood and Padme and Queen's Hope. So they both really take place at the same time. Brotherhood is a wonderful novel about Obi-Wan and Anakin adjusting to seeing each other more as brothers and partners rather than master and apprentice or a father figure and a son figure. It takes place before the Clone Wars TV show starts in 22 BBY. Next on the graphic, I put the poster for the Star Wars The Clone Wars theatrically released film, but it will also be the stand-in for the TV show as well. This takes place from 22 to 19 BBY. All of these next books that lead up to Revenge of the Sith take place concurrently with the show. Catalyst, a Rogue One novel, begins in 21 BBY and ends around 17 BBY, telling the story of Galen and Lyra Urso, the parents of Jin Urso, their friendship with Orson Krennic as he oversees the Death Star Project, Tarkin's involvement with the Death Star Project and his rivalry with Krennic, and so much more. Then you move to the first book in the Thrawn Ascendancy trilogy, Chaos Rising. It takes place in 19 BBY. This is followed up by Dark Disciple, a novel adaptation of eight episodes of Star Wars The Clone Wars that were never released, originally written by George Lucas's daughter Katie Lucas. We move on to this next graphic, which begins the Dark Times era. This is the first of two graphics in that era. Like Attack of the Clones and The Phantom Menace, there is no canon novelization of Revenge of the Sith, so the movie poster here marks where it takes place on the timeline in 19 BBY, beginning the Dark Times era. The Bad Batch follows up right after that, with the first episode taking place during Order 66 and the rest of the show following. We are on Season 2, so I assume that it goes until about 18 BBY as of now. We have yet to get official confirmation of the dates around the Bad Batch show. The Bad Batch would be followed up with a novel that has yet to be released, titled Inquisitor Rise of the Red Blade by Delilah S. Dawson. This book comes out July 18th, and is rumored to be taking place in 18 BBY. You would continue the Thrawn Ascendancy trilogy here with Thrawn Ascendancy Greater Good, the second novel by Timothy Zahn in that trilogy, and the third novel by Timothy Zahn, Thrawn Ascendancy Lesser Evil. Lesser Evil wraps up the Ascendancy trilogy and transitions Thrawn into where we see him in his first canon novel, Thrawn. Next, you would move into one of the paperback series of junior novels, Star Wars Adventures in Wild Space. These books are written by Kevin Scott and Tom Huddleston, and there are six in total. I just put one here because they all take place one after the other in the timeline. Next in the timeline is Ahsoka, also taking place in 18 BBY. Parts of this novel have been slightly retconned by the Clone Wars and by Tales of the Jedi. Tales of the Jedi was the only film or Star Wars show that I did not put on the graphic, considering it is made up of 
two arcs that take place over long periods of time, I thought I would just mention it when important instead of putting it on the graphic. After that, you'd move on to Thrawn, which begins in 15 BBY and covers Thrawn's rise through the Imperial Academy, leading up to 2 BBY. After that, you would read Lords of the Sith by Paul S. Kemp. This takes place in 14 BBY and is about Cham Syndulla and his group of rebels attempting to assassinate Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine when they crash land on Ryloth. Next is Tarkin by James Lucino, also taking place in 14 BBY. Interestingly enough, this is the first book to ever reference Palpatine's first name, Sheev. After that, I mark the place on the timeline for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It takes place in 14 BBY. The next book you would read is Star Wars Most Wanted by Ray Carson. This takes place in 13 BBY and is a story about Han and Kira before the events of Solo, A Star Wars Story. After that is Rebel Rising by Beth Revis. This book takes place from 13 BBY all the way to 0 BBY leading into Rogue One. After that is another book that has not been released. It is coming out October 10th. It is Crimson Climb by E.K. Johnston. We're not 100% sure the date that this book will take place in, but 12 BBY seems pretty accurate considering Solo A Star Wars Story takes place in 10 BBY, and this is going to take place after Most Wanted and after Han leaves Corellia. It's the story of Kira climbing the ranks of Crimson Dawn. Next is Jedi Battle Scars by Sam Maggs. This is the tie-in to Jedi Fallen Order and the prequel to Jedi Survivor. I am reading this book right now through a review copy, and I can confirm in the book it does say it takes place two years after the events of Jedi Fallen Order, so it does take place in 12 BBY. You follow that up with A New Dawn, taking place in 11 BBY. This was actually the first book in Star Wars canon and tells a prequel story about how Kanan Jarrus and Harrison Dula met before the events of Star Wars Rebels. Moving on to the second graphic in the Dark Times era, you start with Lando's Luck, a junior novel by Justina Ireland. After that, you would move on to Solo, a Star Wars story, the expanded edition by Mer Lafferty. Obi-Wan Kenobi does not have any novelization, but it takes place in 9 BBY, and I marked its events here. Same with Jedi Survivor, which video games and canon have never gotten novelizations, so I assume this won't be any different. After that, you followed up with our next Choose Your Destiny book, A Han and Chewie Adventure. This takes place in 9 BBY. Next is Lost Stars, the first young adult novel in canon. It takes place from 6 BBY all the way to 5 ABY leading up to the events of the Battle of Jakku. We follow that up with the Servants of the Empire Junior Novel series. This series fleshes out the character of Leonis from the Star Wars Rebels TV show. It's made up of four novels all written by Jason Fry and takes place from 6 to 4 BBY. After that, we follow it up with Andor Season 1. Season 2 will be taking place across the years from 4 BBY to 0 BBY, but since it hasn't come out yet, I did not put it on the graphic. After that, we move on to the Rebels chapter book junior novel series. Plus, I'm also including Ezra's Gamble in here. Ezra's Gamble is the only original novel that is part of this series. The rest are adaptations of some of the episodes of Star Wars Rebels. After that, you followed up with Star Wars Rebels, which takes place from 5 BBY to mostly 0 BBY. Then there is an epilogue that takes place in 4 A BBY after the events of the Battle of Endor. Next is Leia, Princess of Alderaan. This takes place in 3 BBY and tells the story of how Leia discovers her family is involved with the Rebel Alliance. Next is Thrawn Alliances, which mostly takes place in 2 BBY, but features flashbacks to Thrawn's time with Anakin Skywalker in 19 BBY. And then finally, the last novel in the canon Thrawn trilogy, Thrawn Treason by Timothy Zahn, takes place in 0 BBY in between some of the episodes of Rebels Season 4, leading up to the finale. Then you would move on to Guardians of the Wills, a junior novel by Greg Rucka, following Churit Imwe and Baze Malbus in an adventure before the events of Rogue One. After that, you would read The Mighty Chewbacca and the Force to Fear by Tom Engelberger. This is another junior novel following Chewbacca. That is followed up with Rogue One, a Star Wars Story Expanded Edition by Alexander Freed. This is the novelization of the film of the same name. And that takes us away from the Dark Times era into the Age of Rebellion. The Age of Rebellion begins with Star Wars episode 4, A New Hope, taking place in 0 BBY and through 0 ABY. If you haven't seen my Legends video and you need the explanation again for BBY and ABY, BBY
BBY is before the Battle of Yavin, which means all the events before the attack on the Death Star in this film. And then ABY is everything after the attack on the Death Star in this film. Taking place during the Battle of Yavin and after, we have Star Wars Battlefront II Inferno Squad by Christy Golden. You follow that up with Star Wars Smugglers Run by Greg Rucka, a junior novel following an adventure with Han and Chewie right after the events of A New Hope. After that, Heir to the Jedi by Kevin Hearn, an adult novel about Luke Skywalker in a first-person perspective, which is rare for Star Wars, taking place right after A New Hope in Zero APY. Then Star Wars The Weapon of a Jedi by Jason Fry, a junior novel written in the same vein as Smuggler's Run, about Luke, though, right after the events of A New Hope. The next Choose Your Destiny book, A Luke and Leia Adventure, takes place in Zero ABY as well. Then you follow that up with Dr. Afra, an audio drama by Sarah Kun. This audio drama adapts Afra's first appearance in the Kieran Gillen Darth Vader run that took place in 2015 for Marvel Comics. After that, you follow it up with Battlefront Twilight Company by Alexander Freed. This takes place in 3 ABY. Then again, no novelization for The Empire Strikes Back. Empire Strikes Back takes place in 3 ABY. The only book we have right now that takes place between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi is Moving Target by Cecil Castellucci and Jason Fry. Then you have the last of the original trilogy, Return of the Jedi. Again, Again, no novelization in canon for that. That takes place in 4 ABY. The first book on the timeline post-Return of the Jedi is The Princess and the Scoundrel. This tells the wedding of Han and Leia and a little adventure after that during their honeymoon on the Halcyon, which is the ornate space yacht cruise ship that you are staying in if you stay at the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel in Disney World. After that, you begin the Alphabet Squadron trilogy with Alphabet Squadron by Alexander Freed. This takes place in 4 ABY. And if you wanted to follow the timeline exactly, then you would start Aftermath by Chuck Wendig, the first book in the Aftermath trilogy. We jump a year to Shadowfall, the second book in the Alphabet Squadron trilogy. This starts the 5 ABY part of the timeline. We move on to the next graphic, which has the last part of the Age of Rebellion, which I am saying concludes after Aftermath Empire's End. But before we get there, you have to read Aftermath Life Debt by Chuck Wendig. It's the second book in the trilogy. Then you would jump back over to Victory's Price, an Alphabet Squadron novel by Alexander Freed. This is the final book in that trilogy. It takes place in 5 ABY. Also taking place in 5 ABY, why and the last part of the age of rebellion is the final book in the aftermath trilogy aftermath empire's end by chuck wendig in my opinion the age of rebellion ends after that the empire is for all intents and purposes defeated and scattered and really only imperial remnants remain so i am calling the next era the new republic era as it was called in legends for the same time period this period begins with last shot by daniel jose older a story about han and lando post return of the jedi it takes place in seven ABY. The Mandalorian does not have any novelizations for it, but it takes place between 9 and 10 ABY as of now. As of the recording of this video, season 3 is just beginning this week, so we will see at the end of that season maybe where it takes place in the timeline and how many years have truly passed. The Book of Boba Fett ties into The Mandalorian. It takes place in 9 ABY and does not have any novelizations. Same with Ahsoka. It takes place in 9, maybe 10 ABY, depending if it takes place after The Mandalorian Season 3. And Skeleton Crew also is not released. It is either taking place in 9 or 10 ABY as well. Then we would jump all the way to 18 ABY with Poe Dameron Freefall, an origin story about Poe Dameron during his time as a spice runner. After that, you would jump three years later to Shadow of the Sith by Adam Christopher. This novel came out last year and is about Luke Skywalker and Lando Calrissian. As they search for Lando's kidnapped daughter, they are also starting to experience some of the remnants of the Sith and some of the early stages of Palpatine's plot as seen in The Rise of Skywalker. After that, you would jump ahead seven years to Bloodline by Claudia Gray, taking place in 28 ABY. This book tells the story of Princess Leia's identity as the daughter of Darth Vader being revealed to the galaxy at large and her exile from the Senate being kind of started as she was beginning to make her push to become the next chancellor or first senator, as they now call it in the New Republic. It also tells of her early discoveries of the First Order and the possible threat they impose. After that, you would read Before the Awakening by Greg Rucka. It's made up of three short stories, one about Finn, one about Rey, and one about Poe, leading up to the events of The Force Awakens. Then you would read the young adult novel Force Collector by Kevin Shinnick. The New Republic era begins to end with Star Wars Resistance taking place from 34 to 35 ABY. Again, no novelization of this series, but I put it here just to mark it. 
Then you would get into the last set of Star Wars canon junior novels in paperback, Join the Resistance by Ben Acker and Ben Blacker. This is made up of two novels. And then finally, the last part of the New Republic era, you would read Phasma by Delilah S. Dawson. This takes place in 34 ABY. We move on to the last graphic here, and this is what we call the Age of Resistance. This is actually an official term. The Age of Republic, Age of Rebellion, Age of Resistance terms are the official terms by Lucasfilm. The Age of Resistance begins with Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, a novelization of this film was written, and it was written by Alan Dean Foster, the person who originally ghost wrote the original Star Wars novel and the first ever Star Wars sequel novel, Splinter of the Mind's Eye. You follow up The Force Awakens with a junior novel by Elizabeth Ween, Star Wars The Last Jedi, Cobalt Squadron. This book tells a prequel story about Cobalt Squadron featuring Rose and her sister Paige. After that, you would read Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, Black Spire by Delilah S. Dawson. This is a tie-in to the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge theme park, but it also serves as a soft sequel to Phasma, also by Delilah S. Dawson, with the same characters from her novel there. Then you would read the novelization of Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi by Jason Fry. It takes place in 34 ABY. After that, you would read Resistance Reborn by Rebecca Rowanhorse. Resistance Reborn acts as a kind of event book for the entirety of Star Wars canon publishing at the time. It references things from video games like Battlefront II, other canon novels, and other canon comic books leading up to 2019. It's definitely the closest effort we've gotten by an author to tie in the rest of publishing like we used to get a lot in Legends. After that, you can read Choose Your Destiny, a Finn and Poe adventure taking place in 34 ABY, the junior novel Spark of the Resistance by Justina Ireland, also taking place in 34 ABY, the junior novel Flight of the Falcon, Pirate's Price by Lou Anders. This also takes place in 34 ABY. The final thing in 34 ABY is A Crash of Fate by Zareta Cordova. This also ties into the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge theme park land and is a young adult love story type of novel. And then the last thing currently in Star Wars publishing is Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker novelization or the expanded edition. It is written by Ray Carson and is currently the farthest point we have in the Star Wars canon timeline. And that is going to wrap up the timeline and the Age of Resistance. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you haven't liked or commented below, let me know what your thoughts are on this video and the timeline. Subscribe if you haven't. I will be giving you a ton more Star Wars book content recommendations, my favorites, as well as where to start guides. I will have all of that stuff coming up soon here on this channel. If you haven't checked out Star Wars Lads, that's my other Star Wars channel. We do a lot of reviews and other things around there on Star Wars. We're reviewing right now The Mandalorian Season 3 as well as The Bad Batch Season to, and we will have a review for the Jedi Battle Scars up on Monday. So if you're into Star Wars canon books, that's definitely a place that you should be subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.